but let's welcome back to another recipe of how to cook authentic ogusi soup this channel brings you little tutorial of how to cook delicious dishes in today i will be showing you guys how to cook this delicious ogusi soup ogusi soup that stand out with its rich flavor and cultural significance these delicacy dishes made with grand melo seed okay guys let's get started guys as we go into the kitchen join me guys before you embark to ogusi soup adventure gather those essential ingredients yes this is my peppermint paprika and scotch bonnet pepper with onions i will blend them together after blending i will blend the melo this melo is called the ogusi soup yes this is what we are using i will heat the oil in the pot after heating the oil in the pot i like to bleach a little i will add my sliced onions after adding my sliced onions i will stir yeah we had my pepper mix after adding my pepper mix i will stir allow it to cook for like five minutes okay guys Here is my ogusi. After blending, I will blend onions and hard to heat. I will mix very well. Okay, guys, by mixing like this, trust me, guys, you will have another delicious taste, very different from yours. Except I'll be using this pattern. All right, guys, don't ignore this pattern of cooking ogusi. How we had my red oil to heat and mix very well. Yes, after mixing it together with the red oil and my ogusi melo seed, right? I'll be adding into the pepper mix and red oil. Sorry, I lost my footage. You can bear with me with that, please, guys. So I'll be adding it and I will add some seasoning and add little water to it and stir i will stir gently at this point you will reduce your heater for it not to get burnt just stir stir and cover to cook yeah back to the protein yeah my protein that i'm using in this pot i have a lot of different type of protein you can use any protein of your choice guys okay so back to the ogusi so now i'll be mixing back again because after closing this eye it will look i will stir gently because at this point i see it's getting little burnt so i'll reduce the gas guys so guys just keep on watching watch this video trust me i know we all know how to cook very well try this and just leave your comments after trying this okay watch this video to the end share this video subscribe like and share okay guys let's get started again guys thanks for all you do here thanks for supporting this channel now here is the fried ogusi so as it is like this i will still cover for it to fry more okay guys and you can use it like this for me i want it to get a little dried before using so right now i'm back this is how it looks with very low gas okay guys try and low your heater very well for you to avoid burns these are my protein that i'll be using is well cooked and tender i'm adding my red oil after adding this red oil, I will cover for it to get cooked. After cooking, 
because the whole year is cooked now i will had my bitter leaf i like using bitter leaf when it comes to ogusi because for me i love ogusi but using other leaves like ugu or some sometimes i got purge yes i know many people is avoiding ogusi because of getting purge but if you can mix with a bitter leaf trust me it will be better so i will stir i will stir properly and after stirring this is how it will look now i'll be adding my ogusi my meal or my fried meal to the protein this is how it will look you see it get burnt little okay guys this is how i'll be adding it gradually okay guys watch this video to the end like this video comment where you are watching for and try this pattern try this model of cooking ogusi soup it's yummy and delicious guys okay let's get started again now have a light to cook now we stir how gently stir so after stirring i'll be adding ugu my hugu is dried because of where I live, okay? You know, we have it in Africa. I will store it here. So, guys, it's not fresh hugu. It's dried hugu. I've soaked it, and now I'm adding it to it because I love when it comes to vegetables in my ogusi soup. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's getting ready gradually. And try this recipe, guys. I'm still repeating it because I know when you try this method, you that is saying that ugusi is purge is that no you will like it yeah i know most people don't like ugusi because of that this is very very delicacy and delicious ugusi soup i'm adding water for him to get cooked now we mix after mixing how we adding crayfish to it because with this crayfish it will change the taste of this food cooking soup without crayfish i don't understand i know some people do do that though but you can't say i won't cook because i don't have crayfish yeah but when you have you can add it to it it's very good and it changed that good taste that you wanted okay guys now my ogusi is ready now at this point i'll be adding dry microfish yes and i like when it comes to fish with ogusi as i said in my previous video i love fish in soup yeah it's so delicious i'll be adding this fish to it dry fish and i will stir for him to bring that aroma and good delicious taste now my soup is ready please guys i've seen you guys are really supportive try this tutorial try this method of cooking ogusi soup this food is so delicious trust me guys i won't say that my camera is doing justice here when you try this pattern and you try the, this style how to cook ogusi soup you will like it don't forget to leave your comment comment where you are watching from in my next video i can send you love yeah it's ready to serve with any swallow of your choice guys see you on my next video like subscribe share this video and leave a thumbs up peace